Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from the Lich King playing the composition that everybody's fallen in love with this patch. And that is Boombox Exodia. Combine the old five card combo, which was get a Mega Busters, Kangors, Barons, Ghoul, etc, etc. You know, two copies of at least one of them. And suddenly your board is gigantic. Sub out the Omega Buster for boom boxes, and your board isn't gigantic, but you do gigantic explosions, do tons of 7 or 14 damage instances over and over and over again, and suddenly the board is gone. The only problem? You need all five pieces, because if you're missing any one of them, you get sketchy very quickly. All right, enjoy. There's a lot of economy here. With the expansion content unlocking the 11th, I mean, it could be tomorrow. The only date that I saw on the patch notes is uh, the 11th. Let's check it out again. I would love it to be tomorrow. Launching tomorrow with the venue and latest to, uh, coming out on the 11th. Got it. Cool. So it is tomorrow that we get the battleground stuff. Uh, boop, boop, boop. expand or launching tomorrow, and then the patch is coming out on uh, launching on the 11th is the expansion. So the date that I saw was for the expansion. So tomorrow is the uh, tomorrow is the battlegrounds portion of it, and the and the arena and the duels and all that stuff. Nice, 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 nice. That's a good feel. Felt weird them having like a whole week, you know. <laughs> Difference between them. All right, so no undead, no reborns. Kind of a rough start for for Arvis or for Lich King. Like a four out of ten opener. Did we get economy? Yeah. Do we have a patient scout? Yeah. Like I'd trade any of these minions for like one reborn taunt at this state of the game. Because then you can get Arvis and power level with it. And unfortunately, we don't have that that opportunity this game because you can't benefit from Arfus, which means we can't jump the barrier to five or we're going to have to stabilize on four. Now, obviously we can make up everything by finding an early a noob or something like that, which is fine. Just not a great opener. Just good. Okay. Tolerable. Like this card right here is the thing that we want and we did not find it. Everything else is secondary to finding this card. on the low tavern tiers. Like I'd rather have a non-economy opener in two of those little guys and only have two minions on the board instead of three easily. All right, game. Good matchup. That I do love to see. We got Deathwing. As a Lich King. Like, obviously, we picked Arfus where or Lich King, where we probably shouldn't pick Lich King. Because you only really have one way to play the game, and that is toward Undead. If you have Beast or Demon in, then you can play toward Death Rattles in general, plus Foul Stomper. And you're pretty strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's ignore that portion of the whole strategy of the game. Instead, just force Arfus. You'll get the... You'll get it no doubt. Don't worry, dude. Undead are coming home. Nice. This is pretty much what we expected. Very similar unit count on the board. Yeah, just hit. Yeah, exactly. Just, just go for it. You'll get it every time. Easy and noob. But I do think you, you do just take a four here. Cute. Ain't happening. A noob. It's not a noob. A noob. It's not a noob. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Well, the start is weak. 
No Anub. No Reborn minions, period, so far this game. I see. I don't love it. I'll tell you what. But yeah, we're a pretty one-dimensional board. Und Indeed? No, no, no. Indeed is a uh, a job finding service. It mostly exists just to spam you. Once you've already found a job. It won't spam you while you're looking for a job. Once you found one, though, non-stop emails. Ooh. Okay, game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's interesting to see how many people will say, like, oh, good opener or whatever in these kind of situations. Like, the things that we hit are not impactful, and the things that we... we we need to find are so critical to us. Okay. It's okay for now, I suppose. Like, we just want Micro Mummy and fucking Taunt Reborn Dude from Tavern 1. We've played the whole game and found zero of them. And then obviously a noob at this point. But we just, like, we haven't seen a single Reborn minion. Yes. <laughs> Do you take a three? I want it now. This is yikes. It's yikes, bro. You want the four? Okay. 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 Now I just want to take a five off of you. Yeah, this is a really, really, really good card for where we are in this game. We don't have any other direction, and it provides a ton of tempo early. And gives us direction. Like, this card being reborn on this board just beats his entire board. It's kind of crazy. Who thought this was an okay card design? Oh, Boombox. You're not fair. Box. I was going to level, but no, not now. You. Could discover into five with Elise. I really want to level. Discovering in the six doesn't make too much sense. So I think I'd rather just be strong and level next turn. Another one. Hmm. Okay. Strong, he says, buys 1-1. One, one. The irony. Strong, he says. Is that the triple scout? That is the idea. Because if we triple the scout, we can discover two fives next turn to play toward this. It's also banking two gold in the form of, you know, buy, using three to bank two for next turn. If we level, we can just roll and buy things. Or three five stars. Yeah, you could take it on. As long as we're on low tavern, obviously. But we're still down on four. But we're not going to stay down on four. That would be silly. Go first. That's not going first. I guess it doesn't matter. His board's gone. Who designed this card? <laughs> Oh, man. Poor cat. Poor person that designed this card and thought it was a fun idea. Hog! He's like, I thought it was fun, dude. And we're over here just harping on him the whole time. What kind of idiot thought this would be okay? Me? I thought it would be fine. All right, well. Real quick dab. <laughs> We're one card off Exodia. Well, I'm going to freeze that.
I think I care that much about sunbaking. At this state. Reborn the Kangors. Go for it all. Reborn the Baron. Play around Zap hitting once. Bro just hit. Bro just hit, bro. Bro just hit. Obviously, this is a little awkward, too. Because I don't want him to, like, kill it first. Then we re we bring back fucking Harvest Golems. And so it begins. Pew, 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 pew. No, not Harvest Golem in the pool. I don't think it's cold matter much. Considering like one more one more hit. This goes, respawns the shit, and there you are. Bzzz. Wait, instead of wait for a second, how do you get two kangors and a baron? We tripled the tavern tipper. Not tavern tipper. The patient scout. Discovered two fives. Tripled into a five, discovered two fives. We got a little lucky, some might say. Is it Nomi? It is Nomi. That's pretty OP. You hear Nomi's a good card. Some would say it's always Nomi. Hey, we went first. Let's go. <laughs> Not like it really matters because look how ridiculous our board is at this point in the game. <laughs> oh. We aren't even getting to the respawn portion of the fight. We're just hitting people for 20. Mm-hmm. 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 I like that one. That card's pretty good. I like that one quite a bit, actually. What the fuck, bro? What is this RNG? How are you hitting all the things? Two games today, we would have won if we would have found Baron just a little bit earlier. We had two in our hand in that one, and then this one, we we would have beaten the Pirate before they got online. We had to go five turns before, before we found our first Baron. This game, the Barons came home. That's a pretty cool board. Pretty baller, actually. Mm, snipe the Baron right now. It's possible. Go to hell. Perfect combat form. I see. I see how it is. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, but you know, we still get there. Actually, we don't. One damage short. We lost the five fucking percenter. <laughs> One short. All right. Fair enough. Good for you. We're ghoul. We're ghoul. Or kaboom a boom box, of course. Dude hit. Yeah, yeah. Dude fucking hit. Dude, never lucky. A terrible game. Sell this, sell this, use the puppies so I can sell both of them to get the blue shell. Roll, get ghoul. It's genius. Would you move one of the bombs to play around cleave? You gotta move both. You gotta move them both here, and then you leave the, re the reborn in front of the, the other minions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Going first is really good. One of these times it'll happen. At least we didn't lose Baron first hit this time. 
There's something there. Something to be said about that. Second hit. It's fine. Whatever. I didn't want him anyway, honestly. Like, I don't like winning heavily favored combats. That would be way too overrated. Should we make this game look hard, you know? Can't roll the card we need. Lose heavily favored fights over and over again. It's fine. It's great, even. I'm having a fucking great day. Bro. <laughs> Ghoul. Would Reborn Baron have won there? Yeah, a little more likely, probably. If you know he has a specific card that deals with you. Like Wind Fury. And yes, we can do that for security. But we're not expecting that exact problem. Seven undead. We're once again not expecting it. But undead board should be trivial to us, as long as we don't lose Baron. But we're better against certain things and worse against certain things. We happen to lose to the Baron getting sniped early. Gross. I guess we just die then. Oh my god, we went first. It's a godsend. We did it! Chat, we won a free we won a fucking coin flip. And losing the one percenter? Yeah, I mean like it's it's unfortunate. But we got the, the coin flip here. It's something. We yeah, had golden zap. That is something we didn't play around, but we don't can't really play around it. Not from the position we're in in that game. Golden Zap is not a a viable thing to counterplay. Still lose Baron. Alrighty. Did your stream crash? Yeah, I don't know what it was. It wasn't the stream. It was uh, Twitch. Twitch server just was uh, unreachable for about three seconds. Everything else was fine. Twitch servers just went down. Or at least like my substation. We're back instantly. Alright, game. Alright, game. Alright, game. I'm gonna throw a fit. I'm gonna throw a fit, bro. It's actually insane. How has it happened every game today? Where is it? <laughs> is it unreal? Yeah, we just we don't have a good good uh, grasp on how to roll the right cards today. That's our big problem. Now everybody knows how to counter us. They're all going to play for the same things. Like, we needed to be able to get there before this point. Unfortunately, we didn't. We didn't get there before this point, and we will die. Baron's got to dodge like a, like a champ here. Instantly hit. All right, that was good. All right, keep dodging. We're getting somewhere. This is way too many, uh, too much health though. So like, hopefully we're not dying. God damn it, dude. Not dead. We can't keep Baron alive for our life. No. 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 What a fun goddamn game I choose to play. Why do I spend my life doing this? Go fuck yourself, game. I quit! I'm out! I'm done! I'm done with Battlegrounds, I retire! Hey chat! What's the likelihood in this lobby of finding a fucking ghoul? We went first?
He has taunt, bro. He just has taunt. It's insane. Stop taunting, Baron. Alright. Gonna be close. We also couldn't find another Kaboom box, by the way. Like, that was the other thing that we're trying to hit, is Kaboom box. Right, if you go left, we're okay. Nice. Alive! Four Barons for the meme. Yeah, you can't play it once you find Ghoul, though. And it clogs board, which is really bad. We haven't even replaced, like, bad taunt. Because we're just trying to find... Oh my god! Ah! Alright, now Boombox. All right, 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 all right. See, it's a little awkward. Because I'm going to want to probably stagger these guys against this board because it's too big. gone left done killed an extra minion it's different to buster yeah it's not the same mechanic pew 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 pew, pew, pew. get them little guys pew 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 <laughs> not like buster it's the same as buster but why do you order the, the same order for buster so that the death rattles from the buster don't take the spot of the kangors right and since buster or boombox doesn't have death rattles it can't overwrite the kangors One card off. Anything that's a quill board would do it. So we got to get a blood gym generator next board. board would have done it too bad huh this is irrelevant here but you might as well have it on the board Not even close. <laughs> what do we need Quillbore for? We want to make one of the Kangors survive the explosion. Then we can play Boombox, Golden Boombox. Respawn five on the first one and keep this alive on the board. The other option was to get a Nuther, but it was easier to just get Quillbore once we had this. No. 
If we can get another Kangors, it's good. But we don't have another Kangors. Here's the Uther. Makes life easy. How do we want to order this? I just want to shield the Titus and the Kangors. Try to play around him putting like a last position boom box to snipe the shit. It all still dies. It's all relevant. These two should be the only things alive. We'll play around this being one single boom box hit. Zap's kind of interesting. Because he can get this to shield this, which is annoying. Didn't happen to do so. It wouldn't cost us the round. It just makes it so that we have to attack with it. So he would get attack right afterwards. Pew, 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 pew. Do it again. Reset it all. All right, cool. Took us long enough to get here, I swear, man. But now we have a pretty good version of the board. We just counterplay all tech options. Don't you have a chance of spawning the low boom box? Sure. But you're going to spawn five things instead of three. Wouldn't it be better to drop the single boom box? Then you'd only respawn three things. Do you want three things? Or would you like five things where at worst you get three regulars and two golden ones? Or you could get guaranteed three golden ones. Five things? There you go. We're on the same page. We're together at last. Nah, pretty sure we're just rolling 10 away at this point. We could play toward Blood Gems, we could play toward Golden Selfless Hero, which would be nice. The reason Golden Selfless Hero is nice is because we could get it a bigger than the Ghoul, so that if he does do the, like, zap, he won't kill this first. If you put Selfless back, yeah, this is why we put these guys in the back. The likelihood that he would put that back there is pretty high. Pew, pew. Only two of them. It will take the shield, though. Also takes Kangors. That was a good placement for it. Pew, 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 pew. Get him. Get him, Explodies. Go right. That wasn't right. Coin flip for the game. <laughs> it all came down to a flip there. <laughs> oh, god damn, man. At least they're fun end games. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, we may have rolled 53 or whatever times before we found a fucking blaster. But at least they're amusing. We did it. <laughs> Gross in a good fun way. Yeah, I mean, for a while. Gross, but the counterplay there was kind of interesting, too. Like, Boombox being the best tech card against the Boombox boards is definitely interesting. Turn 19? Yeah, no shit. It should have been over, like, turn 15 if we just found a ghoul. We'd kill everybody before they got that big. But nah. We only found ghoul the feast, not the good ghoul.